Okay, great. So why did he just say that he was? I don't know because he doesn't know. Okay, so what I want you guys to explain to me, right, is why the first century students of the apostles, apostles that the Quran claims the followers of Christ were Muslim, why do people like Polycarp say, if you deny that Christ came in flesh, you're of the Antichrist, and to deny the testimony of the cross is to be of the devil? I'm really why? not following because we're of not. Noise. Okay, I'm saying to you is, why the first century students of the apostles, people like Peter, people like John, right? St. Peter, St. John, who the Quran in multiple tafasir, they'll call him Shamun. They say he's a messenger in some places. al Qurtubi says this. Other people say this, right? Even Ibn Abbas. So my question to you is, why are students of the apostles proclaiming Christ is God if, if Christ is not God? Why, why do they believe this? First century apostles and, and students of them. But your, Quran, but your Quran claims that they were Muslim. So why are they preaching other than Islam? They, at the moment, people get lost. No, 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 not lost. This is first century. First century. First century Polycarp, student of St. Peter, St. Peter, who's an eyewitness to Christ and one of his closest disciples. He taught his students that Christ was God. How do you explain that in your worldview? Why was Peter, a Muslim, according to you guys, teaching that Christ was God? Yeah, according to, according, yeah. Since when? According to Tafsir al Qurtubi, Tafsir Ibn Abbas. There are a few, there are a few Tafsirs that say this, actually. Shamun they call him, Shamun. Sure, if you, I can keep doing it, it's not, <laughs> I can keep doing it. evidence to... That's fine, no problem, no problem. I'm gonna be a blunt and a general question and a general answer to you. Go ahead. If anyone says to you that there is another God or anything else that we pray to other than God, they have lost the track. Do you believe we, do we, do you, do you believe we pray to other than God? I believe, I believe, I don't know what your religion is. I'm an Orthodox Christian. I'm an Orthodox Christian. I don't know what is that. You don't know what an Orthodox Christian is? No, I'm not good English. I believe in the Triune God. The Father, I believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ah, I see. Am I worshiping other than God? How can how can God have a son? Oh, by begetting him. Why would he need a son? You said he needs one. You, he has one. If you have a son, does that mean? He does not have. Yeah, I understand that. Well done. Yeah, yeah. That's your we don't piece of. Yeah, we do. No we do. Because why? That no, just begs. Hold on. Do you know you what? Keep hold, arguing, on. If you keep hold on. Hold on. After this hold on. Verse, you're just getting lost. No, you're actually, you're, you're, actually you're, actually no, 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 you're actually doing a fallacy. You're actually begging the question. Yeah, you're begging the question. How do you know the Quran is true? No, no, you're begging the question. When you when you say the Quran should be taken as the word of God, that begs the question. How do you know that? This is a long answer, bro. Then answer. I have time. No, I don't have a time. Because also, Jesus alayhi salam, he was our prophet, right? No, he was God Almighty. He's not your prophet. He's not your prophet. No. Oh, what from the Bible? From historical test? Okay, sure. No problem. Let's go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're about to get cooked, though. No, 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 stay, stay here, stay here, stay right here. No, no, stay right here, stay right here, and let's go to John 20. In the original language of the Bible. Hold on, hold on. Well, I can read Greek if you'd like me to. The original language of the Bible. The New Testament was written in Greek, yes. The original language of the Bible. Yeah, you know there's a New Testament and an Old Testament, right? Oh, there is two Testaments. Yeah, which you believe in. Okay, so as you can see, they just claim there's a new revelation. I don't never really got this critique. Muslims believe in the Quran, which is like a final testament after the new and the old. This claim is really absurd. They thought they were smart. They thought they could come challenge me. They didn't really know what they were talking about. I was going to quote them John 20, where Thomas proclaims that Jesus is his Lord and God. Galatians. Let it be a curse. Galatians 1 8. Let it be a curse. Exactly. Exactly. We can see all the warnings, all the signs of what Islam is really about. But as we saw, Muslims like to talk a lot about Christianity. He doesn't really want to answer why he thinks the Quran is true. He didn't really want to talk about why Jesus is actually God according to history because, once again, as I tell countless Muslims in this park, if the apostles were Muslims, as the Quran claims, it doesn't give a particular name, it just claims an unknown amount of disciples were upon Islam, the way of Allah, as they were jealous, they like to say. And yet, all of their students taught that Christ was God. Polycarp, 
Saint Polycarp, sorry, Saint Irenaeus, Saint Ignatius, not one of them denied the divinity of Christ. So if these people were Muslims, they did a very bad job of imparting Islam to their students. So either they think Jesus' followers were so inept that everyone got so confused within the first generation that they couldn't understand what Tawheed was, or maybe Christ preached something other than Islam. But I think that's pretty much the wrap up for today. You know, we've got uh, no, no further challenges here. So, uh, yeah, man, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. amen.